President of the Royal Belgian Tennis Federation, André Steyn, the President of the Federation Royal de Tennis, Giovanno, Giovanno Bozzi, uh, representative of the province of Liège, the province of Liège, who has donné énormément d'aide à cette uh, organisation, and the AFT, au nom de André Steyn, je tiens à remercier la province de Liège pour toute l'aide qu'elle a apportée à cette organisation. Thank you very much for the help. Uh, Rémi Atzema, the juge arbitre, the référé. Tom Goethens from BNP Paribas Fortis, bonjour. Et Attila Richer from the Hungarian Federation. I, know, I will now present you the two teams. Uh, sorry for my Hungarian, but I will try. So, we have Gabor Borsos, <laughs> Mate Valkus, Jambor Pinos, Attila Balace. Marton Fuchovic and the captain uh, Gabor Kovec. And the Belgian team, it will be easier for me, Joris Delors, Julien Canina, uh, Ruben Bergmans, David Goffin, and the captain Jan van Eyck. Uh, we listen now, Kelly Fairweather from the IKF, sorry, I forgot you on the table. Uh, I present you, Kelly uh, Fairweather from the IKF. I give you the word, sorry about it. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon or good morning everybody. On behalf of the ITF, let me welcome everyone to this first round tie of Davis Cup by BNP Paribas. Jan Liege, let me take this opportunity to thank those that have and will contribute to the success of this tie. First and foremost, um, Yuan and Gabo, our sincere thanks to you and your players for making this a priority in an extremely busy tennis calendar. We hope that you enjoy this week and benefit from the unique opportunity that Davis Cup gives you to be part of a team representing your country. In 2018, 133 nations are entered in, in Davis Cup by BNP Paribas, which is, which is uh, a fantastic achievement. Just some, a couple of facts about this particular tie, some which have already been mentioned. This will be the 13th time the two countries have met in Davis Cup for the first time in 28 years. Belgium won that last meeting back in 1990 and lead overall in the head-to-head 7-5. As you all know, Belgium reached the, the Davis Cup final last year for the second time in three years, so they've set a high standard and, and they played uh, their part in what was a magnificent final last year in Lille. So, congratulations to, to you and your team, Johan. Hungary last year stunned Russia in the playoffs uh, in September in the World Group playoffs to return to that group for the first time since 1996 and as you mentioned 22 years and what's probably even more impressive that in just four years Hungary have, uh, has moved from group three uh, to work their way back into, into, into world group so that's an incredible performance and congratulations to you and your team uh, Gabor. Let me also just mention the ongoing work on the Davis Cup trials that are taking place uh, all over the world, in, in mostly in zonal group, um, that are being implemented in, in 2018, designed to enhance the, what is the largest annual team competition in sport. And today you see some changes also here in the meet and greet, and, and another change, a significant change we feel, was, was the fact that the finalists from last year were allowed to choose to be the hosts, um, and uh, Belgium are the beneficiaries of that year in 2018. Of course, um, let me welcome, um, it is their home, but I want to welcome uh, the, the President of the Belgian Federation, Mr. André Stein. Um, Merci beaucoup, André, pour uh, votre accueil. And of course, uh, our visitors, represented here by Secretary General Attila Richter who's also a member of the Davis Cup Committee. Let me also thank the uh, Sport Director of the Province of Liège, Giovanni Bozzi, uh, and say to you, your support from, from the province and, and other local partners is much appreciated. I also uh, will thank the officials led by, by Remy and acknowledge the good work that has gone into staging this time by everyone associated with the event. 
also mention um, in particular the volunteers because as you know without the volunteers events like this would not be possible. Lastly, but very importantly, a global event like Davis Cup would not be possible with the support, without the support of, of our fantastic partners, uh, BNP Paribas, now in the 17th year of their title sponsorship. So Tom, thank you for being with us and, and many, many thanks for your ongoing support. I also mention our international sponsors, Rolex and ADECO, and our international supplier partner, Head. And of course, um, it's important that uh, these matches go around the world, so I'd also like to recognize me in sports, the official global media rights partner of the ITF. So good luck to both the teams, and yes, to another great weekend of Davis Cup here in Liège. Thank you very much. Thank you. On écoute maintenant Monsieur Bozzi, qui représente la province de Liège. Oui, bonjour à tous. La province de Liège jouit d'une certaine renommée en matière de sport, au point d'être qualifiée, soyons un peu chauvins, par beaucoup de provinces la plus sportive dans notre pays. Cette réputation la doit notamment au travers de nombreux accueils de nombreux événements, pardon, de l'accueil de nombreux grands événements sportifs internationaux, on ne peut pas vous rappeler l'accueil du Tour de France, le meeting international d'athlétisme, la Coupe du Monde de tennis de table qui a eu lieu ici il n'y a pas longtemps, ici au Country Hall. Maintenant, si la province est le théâtre justement de grands événements sportifs, elle le doit aussi aux sportifs de renom, ce qui permet à de nombreux jeunes de s'identifier à leur idole de leur, et leur modèle. Le tennis en est un bel exemple. Et j'espère que je ne dois pas vous rappeler, bien sûr, les exploits de notre équipe de Coupe Davis les dernières années, qui nous ont tous fait vibrer, et avec pour nous, en province de Liège, une certaine fierté, malgré tout, de voir évoluer dans cette équipe, ben, d'abord un des meilleurs joueurs que de la planète, en la présence de David. Derrière ça, ben, euh, un titre qui lui va vraiment bien, ben, c'est M. Coupe Davis. Et si je peux me permettre, ce qui résume, il est présent encore ici malgré sa blessure. Hein, je pense à Steve Darcy. Et puis de voir un petit nouveau apparaître justement dans la sélection de, de, de Johan van Eyck, hein, en la personne de Julien Canina. Donc ça nous fait notre petite fierté en tant que province de Liège. Bref, je ne vais pas être plus long. Hein, tout cela demande bien sûr l'excellent travail, l'excellent travail réalisé en termes également de formation au sein de la province de Liège par justement cette fédération francophone de tennis qui fait un boulot remarquable. Mais voilà maintenant, place aux acteurs parce que c'est eux qui ont toujours les clés du succès. C'est le plus important, il ne faut pas l'oublier. So, in a few words. Johanny Bozzi spoke about the sports representation of the province of Liège. Uh, the, the province of Liège received a lot of meetings, track and fight uh, meeting, uh, tennis the table meeting, and also, of course, the Tour de France, very important in Belgium. Uh, and also we have a lot of uh, tennis players from the province of Liège. Uh, Steve Darcy, Mr. Coupe Davis, uh, David Goffin, for, of course, and uh, rookie uh, Julien Canina. And uh, Mr. Bozzi uh, also recognized the, 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 the work of the uh, Association of uh, the Tennis Federation of Belgium, uh, who made a lot of work with the young players. And we listen now to Tom Gucket from Paris Paribas Sports. Hello, everyone. Uh, also, on behalf of BNP Paribas, well, welcome to you all. Um, I hope that it will be as, at least as exciting uh, tennis year as last year, uh, where both of our domestic uh, countries, uh, or domestic markets I must say, France and Belgium made it through to the final, so uh, that means a lot for us as a brand, BNP Paribas. But not only for us as a brand, it was an exciting final, but I think that it was just pure promotion for tennis in general. Um, I'm convinced and, uh, that the players encouraged a lot of people to, uh, to grab once again their rackets and go back on court um, because when you see those players on the court you really get inspired and then sometimes you really feel the need to go back on court and grab your racket. So I hope that's the case for a lot of people uh, all around the world. And then together with our partner, the ITF, uh, we did everything we could in order in order to create uh, that specific 
and enhance that specific uh, Davis Cup atmosphere. And I guess we managed uh, to bring that atmosphere far beyond the walls of the Pierre Bourgeois Stadium in Lille, um, because we saw that um, it was yeah, the Davis Cup final get a lot of attention worldwide, and that's um, not only for us as a brand is very important, but like I said uh, previously, for tennis in general, the Davis Cup is something special. Um, it's it's a national feeling that that comes up with everyone. And not only for both countries who are playing at that time, but everybody around the world who is a tennis lover can feel that energy. And we, uh, together with the ITF, we made sure that everyone, everybody showed their colors, as we say. And um, so that was really a terrific um, performance, the 2017 Davis Cup by BP Paribas final. And then referring to the final, and actually um, a personal note, I would like to uh, grab this opportunity to uh, to um, give my fullest admiration to the Belgian to the Belgian team. I was lucky to sit on the first row and see you guys play. Um, I was literally on the, the, the top of my seat uh, watching you. Uh, every 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 play, every every match was really it was really uh, fun to watch for me on that side. But on the other side, um, yeah, we were all uh, stuck in in the moment, and uh, we were really hoping for the Belgian uh, for the Belgian victory. Unfortunately, or unfortunately not, but they were the French who were better. I'm Belgian, so okay, I need to be neutral, of course. But uh, unless it was a, it was a really great performance to you guys, um, I hope and I think one day you will certainly deserve and win that fantastic trophy. So keep on dreaming and working uh, towards that trophy. Um, this being said, and uh, I'm here as a representative of BNP Paribas, like I said, um, I think that it's quite clear that BNP Paribas is committed um, to be a loyal uh, partner. Uh, to tennis worldwide and on that on many different levels uh, of the sport. Uh, with our long-term vision, we want to keep investing in tennis, uh, telling different stories and share the passion with our fans. That's what we did today also, giving the fans the opportunity to meet with people, uh, to meet with the players and, uh, and um, well, experience that as well up close. So uh, I guess that it's quite clear that Tennis is in our DNA since 1973 and we'll, we'll love to keep it that way for many years to come. And then of course a new year means new opportunities um, for both teams. So um, certainly for the Hungarian team, like it is also said uh, previously, um, welcome back in the world group. I wish you guys all the best. I think you have great players. So uh, it will be um, a great challenge for you to, uh, to keep, uh, to, to, yeah, to, to rest in this, in this world group. Um, but, like I said, always every match needs to be played. Um, even when you need to play against number seven in the world, David, um, he can also have a bad day, hopefully not. But, um, like, well, go ahead, um, take your chances, and then we will see that the best way win. Thank you very much. Merci, Tom. Thank you, Tom. And now we will proceed to the au au sort with the referee. Rémi Azema, now the draw. Thank you. Merci. Uh, dear President, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the ITF, welcome to this draw ceremony Davis Cup by the MP Paribas World Group. First round between Belgium and Hungary here in Liège. Uh, let me introduce for the draw both singles players nominated by captains. So for Hungary, we will have as number one player Martin Fuchovic and number two player Attila Balaje. And for Belgium, number one player, David Goffin, and number two player, Ruben Bemelmans. Both chair umpires will be for this Davis Cup tie by BMP Braiva, Alison Hughes from Great Britain, and Thomas Sweeney from Australia. As review official, we have George Bakker from Austria. On Friday, the number one player of each nation will play the number two of the opposing nation. The first name that will be drawn in a few seconds from this cup will play the first match tomorrow.
So number two player from Belgium, Ruben Bevelmans, we play the first match tomorrow against the number one player from Hungary, Martin Fuksovic. So this is the first match tomorrow starting at 1.30. And after this match finishes, second match between David Goffin from Belgium and Attila Balaché. So this is for Friday. On Saturday we keep continue with the doubles, starting time at 2.30. Doubles team may be changed until one hour before the scheduled start of the doubles. As right now for Hungary, we will have Attila Balaché and Martin Fuksovic. Belgium, Julien Canina, 